hello guys it's been a while since I made a little video uh, last video was um, January 23rd and now it is April the 2nd this is the hair um, and I don't go out like this uh, I wear scarves when I go out uh, but uh, I am looking like this for the uh, for this video and uh, because it the best shows what's happening to me in the last video I have uh, spoken about the f uh, getting cancer uh, just to just quick recap my cancer uh, my breast cancer is uh, estrogen and progesterone positive and hair to negative two point multiplied by 2.5 centimeters um, stage 2 grade 2 I was waiting for pathology results uh, after my mastectomy um, and my oncology team has decided that um, I should have mastectomy uh, and then I should go back to them and see about other treatments my plastic surgeon immediately decided that in my case it should be a secondary reconstruction. I never asked any questions and Croatian doctors don't really like you when you <coughs> ask questions. <laughs> he, uh, as I said in the last video, my plastic surgeon is fantastic, he did a great job. And so on the pathology report um, it said that uh, six lymph nodes have been taken out and uh, it has shown as I said that there is no uh, any cancer present anymore either in the breast or in the lymph nodes and that is obviously a fantastic news so I have gone back to uh, oncology uh, uh, hospital uh, and uh, and my doctor, oncologist, has uh, of course sent me uh, uh, to a team uh, because here in Croatia all decisions about therapies for all patients are decided about by a team. They have it all on the screen and uh, they're all looking at it and um, making the decision but obviously my my leading uh, my doctor leads me through it and he checks my blood work etc and he's a very very uh, nice doctor and I, I like him very much we communicate very well together and so at the team you know it's always scary it's like entering the court and you know you enter the room and they're all like 10 of them looking at you and uh, and then you're waiting for the verdict <laughs> and so um, they have told my doctor told me hello Galina are you recovering well from your operation I was like yes thank you doctor well as you know your pathology report is fantastic I said to him yes thank you doctor but what does that mean so he said to me we want you to uh, have chemotherapy uh, because um, you need it for protection because your cancer is quite uh, invasive ductal carcinoma quite dangerous cancer and uh, will you receive Galena chemotherapy I said yes I will okay then please uh, uh, go in front of uh, my office wait for me and I will come and then we shall speak about it and I was thinking oh my gosh you know Later on he came and he drew all this for me, like in short, my chemotherapy. Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. He's given me a full-blown chemotherapy this protocol, you know. I said to him, oh, wow, this is huge. This is five months of chemotherapy, doctor. He said to me, this is protocol for your cancer and this is what you need. I said to him, well, thank you very much. Bye-bye, you know. Basically what I got are um, a four um, red devils and uh, 12 taxols so that makes it 16 rounds of chemo red devil is every second week taxol is once per week and in between every red devil i receive um, red devil i receive on wednesday then saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday five days i um i go for shots uh, like immunity shots they boost up my blood <laughs> so that i can uh, without any problems, I uh, receive uh, chemo in two weeks time. 
me I just needed to go out and help something my husband um, I will try to finish this video um, basically this is my hair after three rounds of chemotherapy red devil and there is a lot of hair actually here um, this is a big patch um, and I noticed yesterday today it's really falling off a lot so I'm going to shave it I'll get my husband or my daughter to shave it for me to, tonight and tomorrow is my last Red Devil chemo um, and I, I, I tend to be uh, feeling very bad for about six seven days um, I'm going to make a, a video about my chemo how all that went um, but uh, and uh, I will just finish this video uh, by saying thank you very much for watching it and um, uh, I will make continue making some and uh, the journey really is going pretty well pretty well uh, nothing goes very smooth nothing has ever been smooth but it's going okay and um, that's what's most important and I'm grateful to God for that and to my good doctors for looking after me and of course my family who are here to support me because I really need someone to cook for me and uh, <coughs> you know and obviously when I feel well I cook but uh, otherwise when I don't feel very well I really need to be looked after okay guys see you in the next video bye bye